5G and edge computing bring with them tremendous promise, but many of the technologies are difficult to understand. With this in mind, Arna Networks brings you a series of tech talks in which we will interview our subject matter experts who will explain these technologies in easy to understand terms. Uh, so I have along with me Sriram, our subject matter expert on ORAN and service management orchestration or SMO uh, of ORAN. Hi Sriram. Hi Palami. What role does SMO play in the disaggregated RAN architecture? So as uh, the name indicates, uh, the SMO essentially plays the role of a management and uh, the orchestration. So it can orchestrate these RAN elements on the, on the cloud uh, and it can also manage them on an ongoing basis. So that's, that's the primary role. So it's not in the data path. It's essentially the, the management uh, and the orchestration path. Uh, so what interfaces does SMO support with other components? As per the ORAN specification, there are uh, primarily three interfaces between SMO and uh, the, the RAN elements. So there is the O1 interface, which is uh, the interface used to configure um, and also O1 itself has two different parts. There is a configuration part. And there is also an interface for receiving events from the RAN elements. So it's a O1 um, netcon and O1 uh, WES interface, which is our REST, um, RESTful interface. So that's one interface. There is also A1 interface, which is uh, between the, what's called as a non-real-time RIC and a near real time rig. So the non real time rig is part of SMO. So, um, and the near, near, near real time rig is the one that actually is close to the RAN elements, the CUDUs and all of that. And that's responsible for any real time changes to the, to the RAN elements. So the interface between this non real time rig and the real time rig is uh, A1. So that's mm -hmm. the second interface. There is also a third interface which is being defined now, which is called O2. And that's between uh, SMO and uh, the what's called as O cloud. So that's uh, that's really the cloud where ORAN our, our elements are running. It could be OpenStack or Kubernetes or, or any of the clouds. So that's the, that's the third interface. So these are the three interfaces, O1, O2, and A1. Uh, so good to know that. So can SMO change the behavior of RAN functions like, you know, dynamically, what do you suggest? Yes, yes. When the RAN elements are running and when it's doing the data path functions, the SMO can uh, reconfigure things using those interfaces that we just talked about over. And uh, it can also uh, be receiving events from the RAN elements. And based on that, it can change the behavior. It can make it more optimized. Um, so that's one of the one of the key uh, functionalities of this uh, specification, where the non-real-time break can do some analytics on this data and change the behavior and make it more optimized. So yeah, using both O1 and A1, it can change the behavior at runtime. Okay, okay. So that was a very nice explanation, Sriram. Thank you so much for your inputs. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, following me. Yeah.